by saying the discharge and charging cycles are extremely efficient. So if that was the case, then we should essentially get a box curve with uh, the discharge being at the discharge over potential and charge being at charging over potential. It starts out that way, then something goes wrong. Right? Something goes really wrong. And so what is that? So here's the story we put together uh, based on the following observation. The observations are following. So these are again dense measurements where uh, we measured, uh, uh, where I, uh, our collaborators measured the, the, uh, the oxygen or the gases coming out when you charge this battery. So you, initially you get out oxygen, but then finally we get out a small amount of CO2. Here. Uh, and, and so uh, there are two possible, uh, the, the two possible ways in which you can get CO2. You have carbon, classic carbon as an electrode, so you can get CO2 from there. And you have electrolyte, which has uh, dimethyl ether, so there's some carbon there, so uh, it could come from there. And so using isotopic labeling, so they used to see 13 electrode, what, what, what was concluded was there was half and half. So half CO2 comes from the, from the carbon and half CO2 comes from the electrolyte. Uh, one other thing is, is to look at uh, what is the electron count per oxygen during discharge. It's nearly perfect, 2 electrons per oxygen. When you charge it, it goes to about 2.7 electrons per oxygen. So there's something that goes wrong during charge. And so here's the story that, that, that uh, essentially I and Alan put together. And, and uh, uh, this was in April of last year, and I think there's now tremendous microscopic uh, imaging that supports various parts of the story. The story is the following. So once you complete the discharge cycle, you have a nearly perfect reaction. You have almost all lithium peroxide. But except for one thing, what you do is lithium peroxide and carbon react to form a thin lithium carbonate layer, very thin. The reason this is thin is because you no longer, after this layer, you no longer have access to carbon. So it's self, it's self killing. There's a very thin layer of lithium carbonate. Now when you charge this battery, then you of course evolve oxygen, but at the same time, there's some bad reaction, right? some degradation of the electrolyte that starts to coat the surface. Right? Now, because this coats the surface, the number of active sites goes down, and so in order to make, the, in order to keep constant current, you need to drive up the over potential because you have lesser number of sites, and so you have to turn over faster on those sites, and so you go up in over potential, and so that's why uh, we have this rising region until you get to a point where you have to get rid of the CO2, and so only when you get rid of that CO2 can you cycle this back. It's so actually this, this tremendous evidence that this model uh, is. Uh, reasonably accurate, what you do is when you cycle this battery, you grow thicker and thicker layers of lithium carbonate, which is exactly to be expected because if you don't cycle it all the way out and remove this lithium carbonate layer, you grow thicker and thicker, uh, you grow a thicker and thicker film of, uh, of lithium carbonate to a point where you actually even grow crystalline lithium carbonate. Okay, so uh, uh, if you take the story that I showed here and then put it into a rigorous mathematical model, uh, and then and then uh, this is comparisons of, of my model to the to the experiments, uh, these are done on, on flat electrode experiments, and, and what you see here is, is reasonable comparison. The low over potential region, this is where the charging is good. Then you have a region where you have a you have a rising potential. The reason for this is just because you have some reaction that coats the surface, and so you lower the number of active sites, and so you need to turn over at a faster rate on the sites that you have. And then you have to go to a point where uh, where you have to get rid of the CO2. 